Hello everyone, it's Joel with Anansi Creative and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a frosted glass effect like you see here and like you'll see on Apple's website and GitHub. And I'm super excited to teach this because not only are we going to create this awesome effect, but we're going to make it dynamic so that on browsers that don't support it, it actually looks completely different. This effect is actually not that hard, so let's jump into Webflow and build this. Here in Webflow, the project is already built, so let's take a look at this and see how it works. We're going to build this to look the way we want it to look on unsupported browsers, and then we're going to create the frosted glass effect using some custom CSS. So the way this is built, we have two instances of all of the elements that are in the nav bar. One instance, everything is in orange, and the other is everything is in white. And we're using position absolute here in order to layer the elements one on top of the other so that this can actually work. That's pretty much it. The only other thing, as I mentioned in a previous video, you want to name your elements with everything lowercase and dashes separating your words because Webflow is automatically going to convert whatever else you put in to this format anyways. So this is a good way to just stay on top of what your class names actually are when you're using custom code. All right, let's apply this frosted glass effect. We'll go pages, page settings, down to before body tag. I'll just delete what's already here. You can follow the link in the description to this GitHub page where I've put this custom code. Copy that, paste it in, and let's take a look at how this works. So at supports is what's making the magic happen. This means that if this criteria is not met, these two things are not supported, the rest of the block of code does not apply to the website. We have backdrop filter, which is what you'll need for Chrome, and then we have WebKit backdrop filter, which is what you're going to need for Safari. We have this set to change the background color of the selected class. If you don't want to change the background color, you can just delete that line of code. And we're going to enter our class name, which is navbar. And then to get the orange icons, we're going to add a couple additional lines. We're going to go nav, menu white and set this to display none which is going to hide this that's it it's that easy you can configure this however you want with affecting as many classes in whatever ways you want by adding additional code but let's take a look at this we'll save it and we'll publish it Let's reload this. Looks good. And let's check this in Firefox. We'll reload that. And we get the orange nav bar for devices which don't support this effect. All right, that's it. I was super excited to teach this. I hope you found it valuable. If you did, help us grow the channel in any way you see fit. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.